What's up guys, T-Mart here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. What's up Coop, where are you going, what you doing dude? Yeah! So we're in the new house, you guys saw last week that we, we moved, Cooper's starting to become uh, familiarized with his new place, he's loving it, and uh, as you guys know, yesterday was actually April Fool's Day, so we figured that for this episode of Super Cooper Sunday, we could play some tricks on Cooper and Coda. Let's see how it goes. All right, so to start things off, I actually just found this one on accident, and this is what kind of gave Chelsea, she, it was her idea to do a, an April Fool's episode, so everybody thank her down in the comments, but what I was doing is I had this tennis ball, and I was over here where we had this kind of like small hallway, and I was just bouncing it off the wall like this. And Cooper's following it with every move. Chelsea, can you see Cooper in frame right now? I don't know. The camera's over there, I can't see. Oh. Yeah, I can see Cookie. Okay. So I was just bouncing like this, and one time it accidentally went behind my head and it didn't fall down into my hand, and he kind of freaked out about it. So we're gonna see if we can recreate that. So here we go. Not far enough. Not far enough. Where'd it go? What happened, Coop? All right guys, so it is April Fool's Day and we felt like we had to do some, uh, oh my gosh, Goof's excited. We felt like we had to do some fun, harmless pranks to these guys. So don't you worry, they're gonna get plenty of love and, uh, and treats and everything after, after today. But uh, we thought it'd make for a funny video. Chelsea actually came out with some good ideas. And uh, as you guys can see, Coda is newly neutered. Uh, we might include some footage of that in next week's episode. We'll see what happens. But our first idea is, as you guys can see, we have a very smelly treat. It smells delicious. Like, I actually kind of want to eat it. it like and it smells like what? It smells like beef jerky. I would eat it, and I don't smell it. It does. It doesn't even taste that bad. All right, so we have two of these treats. Coop's going to get one, and then Coda's going to get one taped to the inside of his cone where he can't reach it. Should I put it on the top or, like, down by his face? I would say down by his face where he can smell it. Coop, you good boy? He knows it's coming. Oh, oh gosh, good boy. All right, so we're getting Coda's treat ready. Do your worst. Oh, Koopy, you're already going. Here we go. Stay. No, stay. Get it. Cooper. Oh my gosh, poor guy. <laughs> He's trying to shake it off. Hey, that's smart. Cooper, you're kind of in the way. Coop's like, I'll get it for you, bro. I got you. Uh oh. Oh, he got it. No way. Yeah, you can see it over here. He, he pushed it down by his face and he got it. He got it, but he can't quite get it. That was actually super smart on his. Oh, he got it. Good it's boy. all the way out. Good boy, Coda. All right. You guys don't know what's coming next, though. This next one is going to be called the uncatchable toy or unreachable toy. So this here is Cooper's favorite toy. It's called Hippie Man, and uh, I've got him attached to a long string. Ah! No, Cooper's coming. So. As soon as he hears Hippie Man, he comes running. So we're gonna have this attached to this long screen string, which <laughs> I feel like it's like a horror movie with like somebody chasing me. Oh, he found the other Hippie Man. There are two Hippie Men, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna attach this long string. We're gonna start off, Chelsea's gonna have the camera down there, and I'm gonna be dangling it and like looking over the edge and dangling it down there near the rocks to where he can't get it. And then uh, we might go downstairs and play with him a little bit more. So we'll see what happens. This looks so twisted because it's a man. <laughs> it's really disturbing. Oh, there's been a sighting. That was 
all four feet off the ground in that one. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Get it, Cooper. <laughs> Poor hippie man. All right, so this next one is gonna be super mean, and it was 100% her idea, so I want you guys to know that. It's, uh, we haven't fed them breakfast yet, and uh, it's about breakfast time, a little bit past breakfast time, so these two boys are gonna be hungry, and what we're gonna do now is we are, their bowls, as you guys can see, are metal and clangy. Look at that face. <laughs> So they both know the sound of food being poured into the bowls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the food in the bowls and then we're gonna dump the food out before we put the bowls on the ground. So they're gonna think they're getting food and then there's gonna be no food and we're gonna see what they do. Oh yeah, we're all excited. Okay, ready? <laughs> Everybody sit. Good boys. <laughs> you see the drool falling? I hope you guys can see that drool. Oh my god! <laughs> Please, you 100% deserve it. I can't even be mad. All right, so our next one, I don't know if it's gonna work. I really hope it does. You see those really funny videos of putting like little socks and booties on animals? And uh, I don't think either one of these guys have ever ever had socks on. So we're gonna put socks on these guys and uh, see how they, they react to it. We'll see what happens. Come on, come here. <laughs> Look at how high he's lifting his feet. Cody, come here. Come here, come on, come here. <laughs> Go to come here. He slid past the tennis ball. Come here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I so much. He's just pulling him up. <laughs> you are helping yourself. <laughs> Koopy, do you have cool socks on? All right, let's see if you react. <laughs> Goofy, come here! <laughs> Cooper didn't really care, it didn't really affect him. He's <laughs> Koopy, go get it. Go get the sock. Oh, now we... Here. <laughs> yeah, you tell it. Go get the, go get the last one. Koop. Go, go get it. Bring it back. Thanks, buddy. Look at that. Not only is he the star of the show, but he helps us clean up. All right, we have one final trick up our sleeves. We'll see you guys there in a sec. Okay, so Chels had a good idea for Hippie Man Part 2. You guys know Cooper's a freak about Hippie Man. He just, Cooper, you caught yourself. Look at this. He tried to jump and get it, and he caught himself. Okay, so anyway, we did the dangly one, obviously, and now we're going to do one where I run around down here with him with Hippie Man on a string, so we're going to see how it works out. Relax, you can have him in a minute. He's salivating for Hippie Man. Here we go. <laughs> it's the worst game ever. Oh, we almost gotcha. Get it, Koopy!
He seems to think you're gonna help him. <laughs> what was that? Get it, Cooper! He's so tired. <laughs> Like going to the club. It's all fun and games, so you can't catch your man. <laughs> Come on, Where'd Chelsea go? No, it's not cuddle time with me. Cooper. Do it again. Okay, you're good. Cool is confused by the sound too, I guess. <laughs> Koopy, where is it? Where is it, Koop? <laughs> Found it. Oh man. He was like, he was looking up at the ceiling. He thought it was coming from up here because the sound was bouncing. Like really? When I rolled over, I could hear the difference. I could hear it bouncing off the ceiling. Come on, Cookie! Come on! That's a silly boy. All right, guys. So uh, these two are actually getting their food now. Didn't want you guys to think we weren't going to give it to them. Uh, no more tricks up our sleeve. That's all we've got. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry to play tricks on you, Coda. Koopy, I'm sorry to play tricks on you too. Although I think you loved every second of it. So. Good job, girl. Chelsea was actually, she was the one that came up with the list of, you know, little pranks to play on them. So, high five, girl. Good stuff. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Maybe uh, we could go to the beach at some point. It's a bit of a rainy day today. I want to go to the beach with these two soon, though, and see how they do. We might even have a lake day. Maybe we'll have, like, a day of trying to teach Coda how to swim in the lake and stuff. We'll see what happens. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.